306 John here and today what I'm going to be doing is taking out this uh, Marlin 3030 out the range. Do some shooting with it and sighting it in. So keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video. I printed off this uh, ballistic drop table for the 3030 uh, 150 grain going 2300 feet per second. Using this table, if you could see that uh, if you sight it in at 25 yards within less than an inch, at 100 yards we should be 1.8 inches high. Uh, a maximum point blank range will be somewhere between 175 and 200 yards. Probably, you know. 185 190 yards so our goal when sighting it at 25 yards is to get it less than an inch now on the other hand let me pull up this other chart on this chart at 25 yards we're four inches high a lot of people might say well, that's close enough I'll be on paper at 100 but if you look at the table at 100 yards it's going to be 7.4 inches high. That will be off the paper target unless you have a really big paper target at 100 yards. Let's talk about the rifle for a minute. This is an older Marlin model 336 3030, probably mid 60s from what I've been able to find out about it. A Redfield 2 to 7. This is when Leopold bought Redfield. Uh, they try to bring it back. They made scopes for a few years. They don't make them anymore. It's been an okay scope. The ammo I'll be using is this Herder's 3030 Winchester ammo, 150 grain soft point. Here's my 50 yard target. I did initially begin sighting in at 25 yards. These holes are taped up and I put a new orange dot over it. Then I backed it out to 50 yards. Uh, my siders, my last couple shots were right there. That's good. Then I was doing my offhand shots and they were a little bit lower. But that's all fine shooting there. The guns uh, sighted in. Now I'm uh, ready to work up some uh, nice good loads. That's all that I have for today, everyone. Hey, everyone stay safe and thanks for watching.